Hi friends, hello. Uh, good morning. Uh, I have someone has asked me to do S O M strength of materials of third sem. Somebody, someone has asked me, requested me to do it uh, on my YouTube channel. Now he has not particularly told this chapter, that chapter, anything. He has simply said that do problems of uh, SOM, strength of materials. I have taken here October, November 2019 paper. October, November 2019 paper, question paper. And I will try to solve these problems. Okay. Now, the first problem in part B, question number 10. Question number 10, it reads like this, a rod of diameter 15 mm and 50 mm long, diameter 15 mm and length 50 mm is subjected to a tensile load, you can call it as P or F or whatever it is, W, 25 kilo newton. 25 kilo newton. The modulus of elasticity, elasticity of steel that is capital E is 200 kilo newton per mm square per mm square. Find the stress find the stress strain strain means linear strain and elongation of the bar due to the applied load. So these are the three things to be found. It carries 10 marks. Now, <coughs> first of all, what I do is I will convert this load into Newtons, 25 into 10 to the power of 3 Newton per mm square or uh, sorry, Newton it is, not Newton per mm square, it is Newton. Kilo Newton, one kilo Newton is 1000 Newtons or 10 to the power of 3 Newtons. So it is 25 into 1000. Similarly, this is 200 into 10 to the power of 3 Newton per mm square. This a modulus of elasticity. Now, first thing that I will find out is area of cross section of the rod. Area of cross section A is equal to pi d square by 4. He has given the diameter. That means the rod is circular in section. So its formula is pi d square by 4. That is pi into d is 15. 15 square divided by 4. So take the calculator. Take the calculator. <coughs> pi into 15 square pi into 15 square divided by 15 square divided by pi into 15 square divided by 4 uh, it is coming as 176.7 mm square. This is the area. Next, stress will be equal to load by area. That is 25,000 or 25 into 10 to the power of 3 divided by 176.7. So 25,000 divided by 176.7 equals 141.5 141.48 you can take it as 140 sorry this is stress newton per mm square newton per mm square 
न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर दिस इज द स्ट्रेस देन आई नो दिस एंग्स मॉडलस आर मॉडलस ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी इज स्ट्रेस बाई स्ट्रेन वी नो दैट आई नो एफ नाउ आई नो ई दिस इज गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम एफ आई हैव फाउंड आउट सो स्ट्रेन दैट इज लीनियर स्ट्रेन विल बी इक्वल टू एफ डिवाइडेड बाई ई एफ बाई ई दैट इज वन फोर्टी वन पॉइंट फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई ई इज टू हंड्रेड फॉलोड बाई थ्री जीरो डिवाइडेड बाई equals 7.07 7.07 into 10 to the power of minus 4 there is no unit for this because it is strain so i got this i got this next i want to get this now e by definition by definition strain is change in length by original length so change in length will be equal to e into l the original length so 7.07 into l is given as 50 the original length of the piece is 50 mm so 50 that will give me 0.035 0.035 mm because this has no unit this is in mm so this is the elongation or change in length i think you understand that this carries 10 marks it's a 10 mark problem next after that problem number 11 again from the first chapter that is stress and strain problem number 11 i'll read it a bar of 30 mm dia so 11th problem the dia is that means it is a circular rod it is 30 mm 30 mm is subjected to an axial pull of 80 kilo newton 80 kilo newton subjected to a pull of 80 kilo newton the measured extension that means change in length delta l elongation is 0.1 mm 0.1 mm on a gauge length of 200 mm that is l is 200 mm right and the change in diameter delta d delta d is 0.04 mm calculate poisson's ratio 1 by m is how much poisson's ratio the symbol is 1 by m values of eng's modulus that is what is e comma bulk modulus and modulus of rigidity k and c so these three moduli of the moduli of elasticity are to be found out now here again first what we do is we will find out we will find out the area of cross section it's a circular rod because the dia is given so the formula for finding the area of cross section is a is equal to pi d square by 4 that is pi into 30 square divided by 4 Uh, use your calculator and <coughs> find out the area pi into 30 square divided by 4 706.85 this is 706.85 mm square this is the area that is the area then stress is we know load by area load by area of cross section 
we have the area of cross section load is given it is 80000 newton 80000 newton divided by 706.85 so that will be 80000 divided by 706 0.85 equals 113.2 roughly 113.2 newton per mm square this is stress now <laughs> stress is got next linear strain is change in length by original length that is elongation by original length elongation is 0.1 mm 0.1 mm divided by original length is 200 mm so <coughs> 0.1 divided by 200 will give me 5 into 10 to the power of minus 4 5 into 10 to the power of minus 4 no unit for that that is strain linear strain next lateral strain lateral strain is delta d by d delta d by d change in diameter is 0.04 mm the original diameter is 30 mm 30 mm so that will give us 0.04 divided by 30 that will be 1.33 1.33 into 10 to the power of minus 3 minus 3 now a uh, poisson's ratio that is 1 by m will be lateral strain divided by linear strain so it will be 1.33 into 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by 5 into 10 to the power of minus 4 divided by 5 into 10 to the power of minus 4 you are getting this as 2.6 2.6 there is some mistake here the problem some value somewhere there is a mistake and they it should not come like this it should come uh it should come 0.26 poisson's ratio is always less than less than 1 the value of poisson's ratio is always less than 1 it should come 0.26 there is some mistake in the data that's why you are getting 2.6 it should have been i think 0.26 if it comes like that you can't do anything you do it as it is you write the formula you will get some weird answers some weird answers will be coming but we have to do it next i can find out this e that is eng's modulus is stress by linear strain i have both stress is 113.2 newton per mm square and linear strain is 5 into 10 to the power of minus 4 5 into 10 to the power of minus 4 113.2 divided by 0.0005 will give me 226 followed by 2264 followed by two zeros or it is 2.26 you can take it as 2.26 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per mm square this is the value of eng's modulus eng's modulus so i got this i got this next c modulus of rigidity you know the relationship for Uh, between e is equal to 2c into 1 plus 1 by m. This is the relationship which connects 
modulus of elasticity, modulus of rigidity and Young's, uh, the Poisson's ratio. So this is 2.26 into 10 to the power of 5 is equal to 2, I don't know C, into 1 plus 1 by M is 0.26. It should have come 0.26. Somehow it is coming uh, 2.6, but I have taken, I have modified it as 0.26. So C will be equal to, in case that happens, you will get full marks. Even if the answer is not correct, you will get the full marks. I have done it correctly. 2.26 into 10 to the power of 5 divided by 2 into 1.26. This will be 1 plus 0.26 will be 1.26. Right. Divided by 2 divided by 1.26 will give me 89841 89841 point something so many newton per mm square this is modulus of rigidity it can be written as it can be written as 0 0.9 0 0.9 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per square mm Roughly, roughly it will be 0 0.898, something like that. You can make it as 0 0.9 into 10 to the power of minus, uh, 10 to the power of 5 Newton per mm square. Next, you have to get K. This you got K. For K, you can use this relationship. A is equal to 3K into 1 minus 2 into 1 by M. This is the formula which connects Young's modulus, bulk modulus and Poisson's ratio. So this is 2.26 into 10 to the power of 5 is equal to 3 into k. We don't know. 1 minus 2 into 0.26. Right. 0.26. So 0.52. This will be 2.26 into 10 to the power of 5 is equal to 3k into this will be 0 0.48 0 0.26 into 2 is 0.52 1 minus 0 0.52 is 0.48 so this will give you k is equal to k is equal to 2.26 into 10 to the power of 5 divided by 3 into 0.48 just don't do uh, divide that 10 to the power of 5 keep that 10 to the power of 5 as it is 2.26 divided by 3 divided by 0.48 that will give me 1.6 roughly 1.6 into 10 to the power of 5 Newton per mm square so this is the value of k. So I got all of them. This problem carries uh, 10 marks again. Again that also carries 10 marks. Right. So we have done two problems. Next, twelfth problem. I will take up the twelfth problem in the paper. Twelfth problem is like this. <coughs> twelfth problem is uh, find the center of gravity. Find the center of gravity of L section or you can also call it as angle section. That is better. Angle section. Angle section. Dim with the dim of dimensions 100 by 80 by 20 mm millimeter this is the these are the dimensions of this, this thing what we have to find out is what we have to find out is center of gravity that means center of gravity means we have to find out x bar and y bar x bar and y bar are to be found out that is the coordinates of the point 
which is the center of gravity of that given section. Here, first what you do is you draw a rough sketch. A rough sketch of the angle section. The angle section will be like this. It need not be to the measurement. You need not take any measurement here. Just draw a rough sketch. A rough sketch like this. Not two dimension. Not two dimension. So this is this is 100 mm. This is 100 mm. This is 80 mm. And this is 20 mm. And this is also 20 mm. 20 mm. Now this is called angle section or L section. Now this can be divided into two rectangles. You can do it either this way or this way. You can have this up to here full one section or you can have we can do it up to here one section. This is one rectangle that is one rectangle. I will call this as one this as two. Now, these are the reference axis, that is this is the vertical reference axis and this is the horizontal reference axis. So this is the origin. Now, A1, that is area of rectangle 1, this rectangle is a rectangle of length 80 because I have removed 20 here. This 20 has come this side because I have taken it like this. Had you taken it like this, it would have been 100 into 20. Now it will be 80 into 20. 80 into 20, that is 1600 square mm. This is A1. X1. X1 will be 20 by 2. 20 divided by 2, that is 10 mm y1 will be y1 will be 20 plus half of this 80 uh, 80 by 2 20 plus 80 by 2 that is 20 plus 40 that will be 60 mm that is it will be somewhere here where the two diagonals meet here that will be there the center of gravity of this rectangle will be somewhere here now its distance from here is 20 by 2 that is 10 mm that is x1 y1 will be this 20 here plus 80 by 2 that is the midpoint of this rectangle so that is 40 40 plus 20 it will be 60 mm then a2 a2 will also be now this is this is the rectangle now that is also 80 by 20 80 by 20 that is 1600 square mm x2 that is the horizontal distance from here to the center of gravity of this that will be 80 by 2 80 by 2 that is 40 mm and y2 Y2 will be this distance from here to the center of this rectangle that is 20 by 2 that is 10 mm 10 mm now what we want is x bar and y bar the formula for x bar is a1 x1 plus a2 x2 divided by a1 plus a2 this is the formula for x bar. So you make a substitution. 1600, 1600 into x1. x1 is 10 plus a2. That is also 1600 into x2. x2 is 40. 40 divided by 
1600 plus 1600 both are same so this will be 16000 plus 64000 that is 80000 80000 divided by 3200 3200 25 mm x bar is 25 mm now y bar y bar will be a1 y1 plus a2 y2 divided by a1 plus a2 that is a1 is 1600 again into y1 y1 is 60 plus a2 is 1600 y2 is 10 divided by 1600 plus 1600 this will be 1600 into 60 plus 1600 into 10 equals 112000 112000 divided by 32000 3200 sorry divided by 3200 will give me 35 mm 35 mm so the center of gravity is somewhere here somewhere here uh, here this is the center of gravity this distance is 25 mm and this distance from here to here is 35 mm that's the meaning of that so center of gravity of the uh, entire lamina that uh, angle lamina is at that particular this thing this is all we have to do again that carries 10 marks 10 marks next problem is 12th 13th one find find the moment of inertia i x x that is on the horizontal axis only he has not asked i y y only i x x is asked of an i section having top flange top flange top flange is 100 by 20 mm 100 by 20 mm web web is 120 by 20 mm 120 by 20 mm and bottom flange bottom flange is 150 by 20 mm now what we have to do is first let us draw the a rough sketch of the given i section and mark these dimensions now let me say this is the axis this is the top flange this is the top flange this is the web and this is the bottom flange that's the bottom flange here rough sketch it doesn't matter now this section is symmetrical about the vertical axis and uh, this is given as 
This is given as 100 by 20. That means this is 100, this is 20. This is given as this is 20. This is given as 120. Eh? 120 and this is 20. This is 20 and this is 150 I think. Yeah. This is the bottom flange, 150. Top flange, web and bottom flange. Now first here, we have to find out uh, Y bar. We have to find out Y bar. Y bar means its center of gravity will be somewhere here. This is the center of gravity. I have got to find out this distance. This is called Y bar. There is no necessity to find out the X bar here. Because, because it is symmetrical about the vertical axis. Now, now, I will divide this into three rectangles. This is rectangle 1. You can call anyone as 1. This is 2 and this is 3. 1, 2, 3. Now, to find Y bar, what I have to do is, A1 is... 100 into 20, 2000 square mm. Y1 is, Y1 means from here to here, to the center of that, this thing. That will be 20 plus, 20 plus, 120 plus, 20 by 2, that will be 150 mm, 150 mm, that will be 150 mm, A2 will be, A2 will be 120 by 20, 120 by 20, that is 2400 square mm, y, A2 will be equal to 20 plus plus it will be somewhere here 120 by 2 half of 120 that is 60 plus 20 80 mm and y3 sorry a3 a3 will be 150 into 20 150 into 20, that is 3000 square mm. And Y3 will be 20 by 2, that is 10 mm. 10 mm. So now, Y bar will be equal to A1 Y1 plus A2 Y2 plus A3 Y3 divided by A1 plus A2 plus A3. This is the formula. So A1, 2000, 2000 into 150 plus A2, 2400, 2400 into 80 plus 3000 into 10 into 10 divided by 2000 plus 2400 plus 3000 so that will be how much what will be the answer we have to calculate Two thousand into one fifty plus two thousand four hundred into eighty eighty plus three thousand into ten divided by this is seven thousand four hundred.
2000 i got it wrong 2000 into 150 plus 2400 into 80 plus 3000 into 10 i didn't put equals that's why i got it as wrong divided by 7400 that will give me 70.5 70.5 mm that is this distance i got y bar is 70.5 mm 70.5 right now i got this y bar now what i have to do is i have to find out i x x i x x means the moment of inertia of this moment of inertia of this entire section about about this particular axis horizontal axis this is x x axis pa- axis passing through the centroid through the center of gravity now what i have to do is i have to find first the center of gravity here and transfer it to this axis by parallel axis theorem of this rectangle then the uh, moment of inertia of this rectangle about this axis and transfer it here and the moment of inertia of this rectangle about this axis and transfer it there so that is how i have to be it has to be done now uh, <coughs> here what i will do is i x x is equal to i x x is equal to the formula is b1 d1 cube by 12 b1 d1 cube by 12 that is this formula gives me the moment of inertia of this rectangle about this axis this has to be transferred to this axis so that can be done by like this plus b1 d1 that is the area of that rectangle multiplied by y1 minus y bar y1 minus y bar the whole square this is the moment of inertia of the first rectangle first rectangle rectangle number 1 about this axis plus next the moment of inertia of the second rectangle that is the web so b2 d2 cube divided by b2 d2 cube divided by 12 plus b2 d2 into y2 minus y bar the whole square this is the moment of inertia of the second rectangle that is web about this axis plus the third rectangle that is b3 d3 cube divided by 12 plus b3 d3 into y bar now y bar will be bigger minus y3 the whole square this will give me the moment of inertia of the entire section about the axis xx the horizontal axis passing through the uh, centroid of the entire section b1 is 100 d cube d1 cube d1 is 20 100 into 20 cube divided by 12 plus b1 d1 100 into 20 multiplied by y1 i think 150 150 20 120 140 10 150 minus 50 point uh, sorry 70.5 70.5 the whole square plus b2 now b is this this is b 20 d is 120 cube divided by 12 plus 20 into 120 into y2 y2 is 80 80 minus 70.80 minus 70.5 square that is the second one plus 
B3 D3 cube. B3 is 150. 150 into 20 cube divided by 12 plus 150 into 20 into y bar is 70.5 minus y3 is 10 the whole square. You please simplify it and get the answer. The answer will come in so many mm to the power of 4. I think you have understood this. It is a repetition. I have done it. But somebody asked it, so I have done it once again. Thank you so much.